on the radio and see if you can get a weather report. Good idea. C-S-L-E-S-D-A-T calling C for Charlie. Hey gang, wait a minute. George is calling Matt Craig. C for Charlie, go ahead, George. I've just passed mile five, Matt. The water's up a bit from yesterday. I'm gonna turn north, get a look at the dam, and then go on up as far as the bridge. Roger. There's no flooding here yet, but any more rain and we're in trouble. What's the forecast? Over to you, Dobby. It's not good, George. Overnight showers clearing by morning, with more rain moving in from the west by mid-afternoon. Well, there goes our camping trip. That's the third time this week. Whoa, we go, Jay, that's right. That, that, that's right. What's going on, George? Is this some kind of a joke? It better not be. Dobby! Turn off that music! Dobby! George, I can't. I don't know where it's coming from. Well, you'd better find out. When I get my hands on whoever dreamed up this little stunt... Who is it? Sounds like a sick cat. Come on, Mike. That's the latest hit by Rocky Webb and the Silver Spiders. Oh, that's not Rocky. Someone doing a bad imitation. Wait a minute. Like this. Sounds like. Like this. Oh no, forget it. It's just a crazy idea I have. Hey, that's great. I read the Rocky Well was going on tour, but I never thought I'd make it as far as Chapman's Landing. You a fan of Rockies, kid? You bet. I'm Chubb Stanley. I suppose you never heard of me. I sing and play a little myself. No, no kidding. You should uh, meet Rocky. You know him? Oh, I know him. Oh, I'm his manager. I'm also his cousin, Sammy Quackenbush. See my card. Do you really think there's a chance of me meeting him? Well, I don't see why not. You can use my name. Thanks, Sammy. By the way, how'd you like to make a couple of free tickets? Oh, would I? I well, know I'm a little behind schedule. I need somebody to put up the rest of these signs. Get a deal? It's a deal. Now, uh, Rocky will appreciate what you're doing for him, kid. Oh, uh, all right, nearly forgot. Here's your tickets. Thanks. Look who's here. Hmm, there is something familiar about the face, but... Well, what is this? Where have you been, Chubb? We haven't seen much of you. I've been working at the marina just about every day. The lunch counter. You must be making a lot of money. What do you do with it? That's my business. Oh, he puts it into an old sock and hides it under his bed. All right, enjoy your little laugh. And show me anyone else in town who's got two tickets to the Rocky Web dance at Chapman's Landing. He wasn't kidding. Not only that, but I got a special introduction to Rocky. 
from an old friend of mine who just happens to be Rocky's manager. That's great, Chubb. Well, how are you going to get to Chapman's Landing? It's 40 miles away. I'll get a ride easier, though. Oh, by the way, uh, maybe you could draw us draws for the extra ticket. Well, back to your little games, kiddies. I've got work to do. What's the big secret? Oh, well, you'll find out soon enough. Just keep your ears open. If Chubb's head gets any bigger, we won't be able to find a hat to fit him. Oh, tell me, baby. Oh, come on, Dobby. Please find the trouble. We can't take much more of this. It doesn't seem to be a short in the power tube. Maybe the trouble's in one of the condensers. Wait a minute. I'm sure this time. Sure of what? The mystery voice. Well, let's have it. George is just waiting to get his hands in this guy. Pow, right to the moon. Come on, gang, let's go. What's up? I'll tell you outside. Come on. Come on. What is this? Sorry, Dobby. Private business. Well, let's have it. Look around. Who's missing? No one. Wrong. But we're all here. Except Chubb. Right. And who owns a guitar? Chubb. But that's a western guitar, not an electric one. So maybe he bought a new one with the money he's been making at the marina. Yeah, it did sound like Chubb's voice. Yeah, but how's he been cutting in on radio broadcasts? That's what we have to find out. Let's go. Oh, tell baby. I remember crying. Oh, baby. Oh, oh baby. Give me no lie. I'm the best old man you ever seen. Still you try and see me so me will tell my baby. Woo! Oh, tell my baby. It's Chubb, all right. Woo! Well, let's get it over with. You want to catch him in the act. Hello, Chubb. Hi. Looking for something to eat? No. We thought you might show us your new guitar. Oh, what guitar? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a beaut, Chubb. Yeah, it's a good one. And in about six weeks, I'll have enough money to buy the amplifier that goes with it. For the time being, I'm using Aggie's radio amp. Well, what kind of music do you play, Chubb? Oh, all the Rocky Web songs. And I'm pretty good, too. You want to hear me? the big idea, Zeke. Well, gang, I guess we've solved the mystery. Chubb, you've been broadcasting your musical talents all over the countryside. What are you talking about? Your so-called amplifier's been acting as a transmitter. Well, the mic was off. I checked. Well, I suppose that was my fault. Last month, Aggie was having some trouble with her mic switch, so I fixed it for her. But to make it work, I had to change the off and on buttons. So off is really on. I'm sorry. Oh, great. I bet George was sore. Should I tell him? I think he'd be so glad not to hear that awful voice again. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, well after all, Chubb, you, you're no Rocky Webb. Let's face it, Chubb. You've only been playing a couple of weeks. Okay, you Hicktown critics. I happen to have an audition tomorrow night with Rocky Webb at the dance. They'll probably offer me a job right away, or on tour with them for the rest of the summer. Get off it, Chubb. You just can't pack up and leave Indian River. As a matter of fact, how are you planning to get as far as Chapman's Landing? Well, that's my business. Now, if you don't plan on buying anything, maybe just shove off. I think 
to help you, Chuck, if you'll let me. Okay, Zeke. At least I know who my friends are. Any chance we could be wrong about Chubb? Are you kidding? Maybe we should have tried to talk him out of it. No one wants to see him make a fool of himself. It's too late for that. Well, then let's just hope he never finds a ride to Chapman's Lane. Where are you boys out to? Chapman's Landing. You going that way, George? Only as far as the bridge. The dam's starting to break up. We could use another hand. I'm sorry, George. I can't. Not tonight. What's so important? Rocky Webb. Oh, is that all? Well, this is an emergency. Come on, hop in. Well, thanks a lot, Chubb. Five o'clock. They won't get a ride now. You know, I kind of feel sorry for Chubb. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe it would be better for Chubb if he had the chance to audition for Rocky, even if he fell flat in his face. And that's just what would happen. Well, how else is he going to learn? Yeah, you're right, Ted. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Not this late. Well, we could talk to them. We might think of something. Here come the vultures. Don't let them bother you, Chubb. They don't bother me. I don't even see them. How's it going, Chubb? Well, if you're not going to speak to us, then Ted, we'll... let me. Chubb, Zeke, we want to help you. Aren't you a little late for that? Maybe not. If we just put our heads together, we could... I didn't ask for your help. Well, what'll you do? There won't be any more cars going up to Chapman's Landing. Not at this time of day. Not in that road. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. Forget it, Zeke. Now listen, there is one car that we know for sure will be going up that road tonight. Who's that? Rocky Webb and the Silver Spiders. What happens? They don't stop at Indian River. Then we'll find a way to make them stop. Just long enough to pick up two passengers. <laughs> Chubb, Zeke, it's no good. They went right on. I had a feeling it wouldn't work. Hey, wait a minute. They're coming back. They're coming back. Let's go. 
Having trouble, sir? Yeah, well, I'm uh, afraid we got a flat tire, son, and I think maybe we're a little bit lost. Say, aren't you Rocky Webb? Yeah. Hey, did you hear that, Zeke? It's Rocky Webb. Hey, Chad, look who's here, Rocky Webb. Well, how about that? Look, is there any chance of getting this tire changed? Sure thing. Well, you're gonna need a jack and some tools. I'm afraid I lost all that stuff. Hey, Chad, would you ride back to Indian River and get Mike at the garage? Take my bike. Okay, Chuck. <laughs> hey, how'd you fellas like to come in and have something to eat? Sandwiches, coffee, eggs, beans? Yeah, it's great. We could use some grub. We've been driving for 12 hours straight. What do you say, men? <laughs> well, come on in. Why, well, you sure put up a good meal. What's the chances of getting some more coffee? Sure thing. Hey, Zeke, more coffee for the boys, eh? You know something, Rocky? I'm a real fan of yours. Yeah? I, I guess you wouldn't know just look at me, but I'm a singer, too, and I play the guitar. Is that right? Folks around here think I'm pretty good. You don't say. And uh, Sammy, Sammy wanted you to hear me. Sammy? Yeah, Quackenbush. You know Sammy? Well, sure I do. He thinks I got talent. Oh, by the way, my buddy and I got a couple tickets for the dance tonight, and we were wondering if... Maybe you could come along with us. Sure, why not? Oh, uh, one thing, though. How do you boys plan on getting back tonight? Oh, we can look after ourselves. Uh, uh no, listen, I, I can't be responsible for a couple of kids wandering around the countryside after dark. But we're junior four strangers. I don't care if you're mounted police. I can't take you if you don't have a ride back. Gee. Then wait a minute, Rocky. I'll get my guitar. That's it. Chubb's had about an hour with Rocky. I'll let him know. Okay, Rocky. All fixed. Right. Hey, we better get going. There you go, son. Keep the change. No, wait a minute. Please. Where are they? I tried to stop them, Chubb. Was I right? Did he tell Chubb to give up? Take it easy, Mike. Chubb didn't get a chance to play for Rocky. The whole plan fizzled. See that crazy nut? He almost put me in the ditch. By the way, have any of you kids been fooling around with the road signs? I have, George. Well, what's the big idea? It wasn't his fault. He's trying to help Zeke and me get to that dance tonight. Hold on. And that car that just passed me? It was Rocky Webb. On his way to Chapman's Landing. That's right. We've got to stop him. The dam collapsed and the bridge went out 15 minutes ago. You come with me, Chubb. How about Zeke? Sure, come on. Hop in. What's this, a welcoming committee or a posse? Neither. But I'm afraid you won't make it to Chapman's Landing tonight. The bridge is out. 
Well, there must be some other road. Sorry, everything's blocked up. What we might be able to get you through in the morning. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do except bunk down. Man, we could use a night off. The trouble is the hotel's full up. All six rooms. Well, look, just find us a nice, quiet spot and we'll just sleep in the car. How about the fort? Fort? Crazy. <laughs> Hey, man, come on in. Join the party. Come on, I want to hear you play. Yeah, there you go. You're all set. Let her rip, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it had to happen. all over for you last night. Why'd you run out like that? I thought you'd laugh at me. Well, uh, you didn't sound too hot, I'll tell you that. Look, you got a lot of practice in ahead of you, man. And something else. Don't ever try to sound like some other guy. Not even Rocky Webb, huh? Make your own music. I mean, I don't know if you'll ever be the best there is in the world. But I got a pretty good idea that right now you're the best there is in Indian River. Well, Rocky, the road's clear now. You can get through. Thanks, Chief. Well, so long, kids. You too, Chip. Oh, uh, Chubb, on that diminished F7 chord, you keep getting a buzzing sound. Watch that your second and third fingers don't slip down onto the fret, huh? Okay, Rocky. Well, keep it moving. Maybe we'll see you all again next summer, huh? Well, now, Chubb. You have some explaining to do. Well, this is gonna sound kind of silly to you, George, but... <laughs> 